Hi, I'm Matthew from VideoScene. Today I'm going to look at some of the comparisons between the equipment I'm currently using, which is uh, SDI based, and uh, a new device which I've received in the last couple of days, which is an NDI uh, converter. So let's jump into it. So here I've set up four camera shots um, using four out of the five cameras which I've got currently connected. Um, the top left we have a um, GoPro Hero 5 which is plugged into my NDI type converter which is a Killerview E2 uh, using NDI HX. Um, the top right we have a Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio HD Mini going into the computer via Thunderbolt 3. Bottom right we have uh, another uh, Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio HD Mini and the bottom left we have an AJA UTAP. So one of the big concerns that I have when I'm running live events is especially with sport is that if there are too many frame or millisecond delay between camera shots if you're changing between one shot and another then you may miss part of the action or there may be pivotal shots now currently i'm recording sport at 50 frames per second so any delay which is um, substantial uh, may cause jitters or may be um, uh, not pleasant for the viewer to watch so what I'm going to do without delay is grab Mr. Clappy. Here's Mr. Clappy. Now I did uh, some previous testing to this and uh, Mr. Clappy came up and said uh, that there was a difference or there was a slight delay in some of the devices. So let's just um, let's just do this from a uh, from a multi-view scenario and I'll just turn around slightly so I can see it on all the cameras. Right, okay, off we go. I'll do that again. Now I will go back and read this and try and put it in slow motion so we can see any, any differences and um, uh, see which cameras come first, second, third, fourth. Okay, that was quick. Now at half speed. Still too fast? Okay, let's freeze the frame. And now looking around the frame and the pictures on the screen, we can see that uh, on the bottom left, the AJA UTAP is um, further ahead than the Ultra Studio HD Mini on the right. Uh, and at the top left, we have the NDIHX, which is the Killerview E2, which is uh, slightly slower on the input. Now, all of these devices are going into the same computer, so there, in theory, there shouldn't be any time delays, but obviously we've got a type conversion time delay there. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? So we've seen the um, uh, the comparison between those uh, different devices. Now, just to give a bit of a disclaimer, none of the equipment provided to me has been supplied by any specific manufacturer, and they haven't uh, provided any uh, guidelines for this test. This has been a test that I've done in my own studio. So um, uh, if you've got any complaints or queries in regards to this, uh, please feel free to leave a comment and uh, perhaps I can address it in a later video. So just as a recap, top left, NDI, slowest um, or highest latency. Bottom left, the AJA UTAP, fastest device, or least latency and on the right hand side the black magic design following very closely behind the AJA UTAP. Now do also bear in mind that the test here is taking into account that um, these are only partial frame delays and that the delays may be in the millisecond range. Um, so there isn't going to be a great deal of delay, or well not, a, not a hugely substantial delay between these devices. Um, but again, it's something to bear in mind, especially if you're starting to stack devices or you've got multiple devices, um, which 
Uh, I haven't tested at this stage. Um, still looking forward to receiving some t devices for testing, but um, uh, if we start to add more and more devices, which are the NDI, that could create even longer delays in the processing of those uh, images into the computer. Well, thanks for, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen here, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive further future updates. I've been Matthew from Video Scene.